What is going on, everyone? It is I, everyone's favorite jack of all trades with a foul mouth, Commodore Urban. And today we're going to have ourselves an unboxing, uh, a model kit unboxing. Yeah, you guys are probably thinking, wow, finally another fucking unboxing of a model kit. Well, this is a model kit I've had for a while. And uh, I forgot about it being in my stash, and I was going through some shit in my closet, and I found it, like, oh, you know what, fucking perfect. I'll fucking talk about this model. But before I begin, I want to say hi to everyone who is joining. And yes, this is not a normal thing, because usually I talk about model ships. Lately, I have been talking about, you guessed it, my Academy RMS Titanic, but that one's on hold until I get more model paint for that, for the bitch. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button, and if you already have, good for you, you're part of the Commoners crew. Now, the kit here is a basic builder, it says it's molded in color, which is a fucking pain in the ass to deal with. It is made by the famous Revell Model Company, and it is the Ford Mustang Mach 3 concept car. See, it is a official licensed product by Ford Motor Company. And it's a 125th scale and a scale level 2. See on this side here, it tells you basic modeling tips, an optional painting guide, which the painting guide they tell you here, it's not enough paint, I can tell you that right now. There's a picture of the car on the sides of it. Same picture there. And on this side, it tells you all the features. 8 and 7 8 inches long, 89 pieces, molded in red, decal water slides, and it says, When it debuted in the early 1990s, the Mustang Mach 3 was considered the most impressive concept car in over 25 years. Even today, a decade later, it still looks like something out of the future with its beautiful styling and flowing design elements. And it says custom state of the art interior and dash panel. Details supercharged 4.6 liter 4 cam V8 engine. Complete chassis detail with four wheel disc brakes. And it's molded in red and clear with chrome plated parts and black vinyl tires. And there's some pictures of the model once it's completed. And of course it is an official licensed product. Alright, now we've looked at the fucking box. Let's take a look at what's inside this son of a bitch. Yeah, motherfucker. I hate taking these off one fucking handed. It ain't gonna come off. Hang on just a moment. Okay, here we go. We have this inside. Alright, let's take a look at this. If I remember correctly, oh, there are those decals. I'll put them over there. Here is the instructions for the Mustang Mach 3. Typical Revell instruction. Goes right to, right to it. Engine assembly, final engine assembly, suspension assembly, tire assembly, interior assembly body assembly and finally final body assembly seven steps to the model but these steps will take you a while if you do it right I actually did some research on this model when I got this kit I, I got this uh, from my brother he was cleaning out an apartment and he found it so yeah so anyway I did some research on this car and actually found quite a few nice photos of it and I actually was planning on building it but then I decided not to and was doing something else. I don't fucking know why, but who knows? I might fucking do this in the near future. Alright. Down to what's inside the box. Here we have the shell or the body of the car. Fucking it's pretty fucking good sized model car. One thing I like is molded in color. I hate colored plastic. White plastic's the best to paint. This shit's gonna be a bitch. That's probably one reason why I didn't do it. Uh, let's see here, and there's the under frame. The under frame of the car. It's 
pretty nice. Pretty, pretty rigid. So the body would sit on top of that. Okay. There's a bag of all the clear plastic parts, including your fucking windshield and all the other shit. I didn't take it out of the bag because I didn't want my windshield and shit getting all scuffed up. So that's why I left it in the bag. Okay, let's see here in this box. I have here my four vinyl rubber tires. Yes, there are four of them. As you can see, I actually like these kind of tires because they feel like actual rubber. Really fucking awesome shit. Here are your chrome pieces. Bright shit. You got your rims. You got your supercharger. You got your engine head covers. Your headlights. And all the other miscellaneous chrome parts that go on this car. Let's see. Here is a rack of parts, including your hood, your interior pan, part of your inside of your doghouse, dashboard, um, firewall, and um, rearview mirrors, which would be molded into the body lines of the car. Alright, let's see what the next part is. Okay, uh, inner wheels, your brakes, your steering wheel, your radiator and fan, engine components, belts, suspension, uh, wind scoops, um, part of the rear axle, headers, and your exhaust system. And finally, your last rack of parts include the two halves of your engine block, top of your engine block, some more hoses and wires, your front clip, your rear, your rear end, your drive shaft, your inside door panels, more shocks, the other half of your front of your bucket seats, and um, oh, there's a loose part, the back of one of the seats, right there. Alright, let's take a look at the decals. Not much here. Just a few Mustang, five Mustang badges, and a Mustang Mach 3 license plate. That's all there is to it. Not much. Not much of a thing. So, okay. So, here's the box. Here's, here's the box of the son of a bitch. You get your body. You get your frame, you get your tires, you get one, two, three racks of plastic. Oh, that's where that piece went right there. You get your clear parts, your chrome parts, and your instruction manual, and of course your decals. Everything you see here is what's in this kit. So, yeah, it's not a bad model kit, you know. These, this kit would probably be about roughly 20 bucks, but any, most car model kits in the 125th scale range are about 20 bucks. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Here's a review. Well, actually, well, my thoughts on it. Eh, I really hate the fucking red plastic. This is going to be an absolute bitch to paint. Other than that, it should come together pretty easily once I look at all my pictures of this car again and paint it like the original um, original car. So there you have it, guys. That is my review for the 125th scale Ford Mustang Mach 3 concept car by Revell. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back with you. And if you're new to the channel and you like the shit I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and beat the shit out of the notification bell. Become part of the Commodore's crew and never miss another video. And until next time, this is the Jack of All Trades with the Foul Mouth, Commodore Urban. Saying that smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you. Happy modeling and uh, God bless. Until next time, so long.